Hey, so I was doing a handful of other videos and I thought I'd do a quick video on the rifle I took to Kyle DeFore's um, scope carbine class at the Ranch Texas in 2022. It had taken the class with four of my close friends, my godbrother, my brother-in-law, and one of my best friends that I've known since I was two. So we had, we had a good group of guys there. Um, so we're just going to go this Grand Slam style tip to butt. So this is a uh, Griffin Armament can. Um, it is their, uh, it is a 22 can that is rated to go on 5.56. Five, um, this can worked out pretty well. Uh, it is very small, as you can see. It's barely bigger than the diameter of the barrel. Uh, it, I mean, it's not the quietest can. It's actually probably my loudest can. Um, but it doesn't add very much length and it doesn't add very much width. Um, and the kind of gun handles kind of like a 20 inch AR. Uh, so I really liked that. Um, I will say it worked out well, especially because we were wearing hair protection because a lot of people were shooting unsuppressed. Um, one of the things that I did have happen, which I did not like, was this end cap is removable so that you can clean this can. And this end cap started spinning free and so did the little baffle underneath it. And so that caused my baffles to be able, to, my first baffle, my last baffle to be able to rotate, which changed where the clip in that baffle happened, which caused me um, after after getting everything zeroed on one day, the next day I ended up being one mil left, um, which was kind of a pain in the butt. Um, so since then I've rock set this down and I don't plan on taking off this gun or changing the can out. So um, I will say that was a piece, interesting piece of equipment failure. Um, so then further back, I have a Harris bipod. This is their, in 2021, they released a direct to M-Lock uh, attachment. I really, I really liked that. Um, but I got the one that has uh, the ability to cant and I would recommend against that. Um, what ended up happening was I'd be able to set my gun down, um, you know, kind of on the line with everybody else and walk away. And then, you know, a, a little bit of gravity would happen. It would tilt and it would fall over. Um, so I uh, really liked the Harris bipod. I really liked the, um, the rubber feet worked well, the like spring adjustment, you know, the clicky adjustments, all of those pieces, you know, even, you know, the ability to fold it forward, like all of those pieces worked out really well. Um, the only thing I would change is I would get the model direct to M-Lock that does not cant. Um, this was a tip that I got from, and I, I'm sure I did it wrong, but this was a tip I got from uh, Modern Day Sniper um, where I can pull this and deploy both legs simultaneously. Um, I was a little worried about this potentially melting on the suppressor or the barrel, and it didn't, so I'm going to continue leaving it alone. Um, I have my uh, sling placement at a QD slot there. Oh, turn on the light. Turn that off. Um, I'm running a Cloud Defensive Owl. Um, the class did not require a white light. We didn't do any white light stuff. We talked about the importance of white light and how you should adjust where it would go and how it how it impacts other things, but we did not need it for the scope carbine class during the day. And so the nice thing about the Owl is I was able to take it off and throw it in my bag and I had a gun that was slightly lighter uh, for all the rest of the drills. So I really like that. Um, a little bit further back, um, so this, uh, the upper itself is a KD-4, it's Kyle's uh, 1 in 7.7 .7 BCM gun. The upper is absolutely awesome. Like four people had it in the class. Everyone who had that upper was able to shoot out to 700 yards, um, which was awesome. There were a couple people who were able to go significantly further. Um, so either way, like I, it, it, it's a, it's a really good, it's a really good upper um, and it, made shooting accurate holes with the 77 grain ammunition really easy. Um, talk about the lower real quick. Lower is a Aero Precision Thunder Ranch Edition lower. It's a lower that I happen to have available. I ended up changing out the stock on it uh, to this LMT Precision stock, uh, which I really enjoyed. I, I got it because I wanted the adjustable cheek riser. Did not end up needing it because I went with a one and a half um, inch riser mount, uh, but um, I'm, it was a comfortable stock. It worked out well for the whole class. Um, I will say that this Thunder Ranch lower, uh, the trigger that came in it wouldn't reset. Uh, when you pulled the trigger, it would stay locked in the back position and wouldn't the, there wasn't spring tension to bring it forward. So uh, I figured that out about two weeks before class and that wasn't like that wasn't enough time to like contact Arrow and send it back and have them send me a different trigger and any of that. So um, I happened to have a LaRue MBT trigger. Um, and I ended up putting that MBT in here, and it's worked out pretty well since then. Uh, and then for the um, upper, I originally went with a 
uh, American Rifle Company 34 millimeter tube for this uh, Vortex 1 to 10. And uh, that, like, like the mount, like, you know, liked how it worked, like the bubble level that came on it, uh, but I couldn't get the eye relief I was looking for. And so I ended up uh, buying this um, Reptilia mount. Um, really, really like the Reptilia guys. Um, and the mounts are super svelte and they worked out really well. So either way, I enjoyed I enjoyed this Reptilia mount. Um, I have a 45 offset for an RMR, but the budget ran out before class, so I did not get the RMR. So I shot the whole thing, shot the class exactly like this without a red dot there. Um, I will say I used um, my Vortex uh, scope rings uh, and I had the rear one had a pin walk out um, and uh, the front one slipped off. And so I went with what I should have done, which is these Tenebrex uh, scope covers that clamp on really firmly and then they allow, um, and the rear one is clear glass so you can actually see through it. If I pop this open and I drop this to yeah, one X magnification, so you should be able to see, like you can see, well, you can see that it's clear. I'm not gonna bring the scope close enough, but um, you can see through it with the scope cap on, which is pretty nice. And all in all, this one to 10 was absolutely awesome. I, I really liked it. There were a bunch of different optics there and I was happy with this one. So um, quick little overview of my rifle. I may do a video on the class itself. I may not, but have a great day.